Dear students, now I am going to explain VA characteristics of laser diode experiment viva question and answer. So let us discuss one by one. So first, what is the full form of LASER laser? So laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Okay, this is the full form. L for light, A for amplification, S for stimulated, E for emission and R for radiation. Okay, so this first letter only we combined to form the laser that is called acronym. Okay, so light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. And then here in lab we are using the semiconductor diode laser so what is mean by semiconductor diode laser that means the diode diode is nothing but pn junction so pn junction is going to produce the laser light okay is going to produce the laser light if it is led it is the ordinary light but laser means light with certain specialities that also we will discuss in the next questions so pn junction is going to produce the laser that's what it is called a semiconductor conductor diode laser so what is the definition for that semiconductor diode laser is a specially fabricated pn junction diode okay and it emits laser when it is forward biased that is very important here forward biasing okay so what is forward biasing p terminal should be connected to positive terminal of the battery and the n should be connected to negative terminal of the battery when the pn junction is forward biased then it produces the laser light right this laser light will be very powerful monochromatic collimated beam of light in which waves are coherent in nature coherent is nothing but uniform in all the aspects okay so that we will discuss in the next question so now you will have the idea about it semiconductor diode laser is nothing but specially fabricated pn junction and it should be forward biased to produce the laser light right next question what are the characteristics of laser radiation already i said ordinary light and laser light both are having differences so ordinary light will be different and the laser light will have certain uh, specialities okay what are the specialities so laser light will have high intensity high intensity is nothing but brightness okay high intensity and highly coherent in nature okay and a high monochromation monochromation is nothing but monochromaticity that is single wavelength the wavelength either wavelength or frequency will be single and then high directionality it can travel for a long distance okay it can travel for a long distance with high intensity and with less divergence so the divergence will be very much less so these are the specialities or otherwise we can call it as characteristics of the laser characteristics is nothing but special properties of the laser light ordinary light will not have this kind of features okay only laser light will have the features what are they high intensity high coherence monochrome and high directionality so that I have given certain examples so you can understand very clearly so Sun Sun means see here all wavelength it is producing wavelength in the sense different colors okay not single color different color and then if it is traveling for a long distance its spread is more okay it starts with this distance but it is spreading to a long distance so highly divergent and then uh, all multicolor okay polychromaticity and then it is not uniform also but when we come to the led so led is producing single wavelength that means monochromatic but you see the wavelength is changing as well as when it is traveling for a long distance it's a divergence is also more okay the same thing if you come to laser diode now you see single wavelength it will maintain single color and then uh, remaining in all the aspect it looks uniform okay that's the divergence is very much less comparatively with the remaining all that is what the speciality of the laser light so four things you have to remember first one is high intensity second one high coherence third one monochromatic and the fourth one is highly directional so these four are the specialities of the laser light
Next question. What are the materials used to make laser diode? Laser diode is mainly made from P-type and N-type semiconductor. Already I said P-N junction. So this will be made by using the gallium arsenide. Okay, the main material is gallium arsenide and it should be doped with selenium or aluminium or silicon like that. Okay, so different materials are used to dope to get the P-type and the N-type but mainly used material is gallium arsenide. Okay, so this is what you have to remember, gallium arsenide. And the next, what is the principle of laser diode? So, already I said SER, stimulated emission of radiation. That is the main principle. So, laser is working based on the principle of stimulated emission. Right? And also, it should be named it as injection laser. What is that injection? The electrons and the holes are injected to the PN junction. Okay, are forced to move towards the PN junction. That's what it is called injection laser. That is also one kind of uh, principle we can say. Okay, for then only the pumping will takes place. This is also called injection laser because due to pumping the electrons and holes are forced towards move towards the junction. So it is injected. The charge carriers are injected due to pumping. That's what it is called injection laser. Next question is symbol for LED and the laser diode. Just to see, already I said LED and laser diode both are made up of PN junction. So, the, this is the PN junction symbol. But for LED, the PN junction emitting the light. Okay, light emitting diode. The diode is emitting the light. Then laser diode also the same principle. But we have to show the difference. That's what here this is fully shaded. But here it is empty. And they are drawing one more line over here. So, that this diode is emitting the laser light laser light so this is what the symbol for laser diode this is for led and this is for laser diode by seeing the diagram you can understand the difference next one is advantages of laser diodes so the construction is very simple lightweight very cheap small size and a long operating life okay so these are all the advantages of laser diode simple construction lightweight very cheap small size and a longer operating life we will go to the next question disadvantages of laser diode not suitable for applications where high powers okay in that place laser diodes are not useful and a semiconductor laser are highly dependent on temperature if the temperature vary its uh, efficiency will be less okay and it should be harmful to the eyes directly we should not see the laser lights okay so these are all the disadvantages Next question is, what are the applications of laser diode? So, as you know well, laser pointer, okay, for during the lecture and all, they will use the laser pointers. And then for fiber optic communication, laser diode is used for sending the light, okay. And then for barcode reader in the shopping malls, if you purchase anything to read that barcode reader, laser diodes are used. And for laser printing, for laser scanning also, we are using the laser diodes. So, these are the applications of laser diodes. Next question is, what is the construction of laser diode? Already I said it is also made up of PN junction. Now, you see gallium arsenide is uh, doped with aluminium to make the P-type and the gallium arsenide with the aluminium to make the N-type. Okay, so this is the P-type and this is the N-type and this area is the P-N junction. Okay, and then mirror polished reflecting surfaces will be there and one side fully polished, other side partially reflecting surface and then light will fall in this. Emitted laser radiation will come in this side. Okay, so these are all the electrodes, upper electrode and lower electrode. Lower electrodes. Okay, so this is the construction for laser diode next we are going to discuss about what is the difference between laser diode and the light emitting diode okay so what is the difference based on certain characteristics we can understand this first one is light emitted so it this laser diode will emit coherent light uniform light but led will emit only the incoherent okay non uniform light will be produced and the light frequency already i said it is monochromatic single but here wider bandwidth based on the main frequency right wider but it is mono and the cost it will be comparatively it is having higher cost and the led will be lower cost and the junction here the pn junction will be narrow very thin and here it is the wide pn junction 
and the light emission principle is this is stimulated emission and this is electroluminescence electrical energy is converted into light energy here here it is stimulated emission and the response time is fast response compared to the led much slower okay comparative with the laser diode so these are the uh, comparisons between laser diode and led okay please go through that if you have any doubt please ask me in the comment box thank you everyone